to share with you one of my favorite techniques for doing a smoky eye that only uses two products. To start off with, I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Sometimes if you do your eye makeup and then you curl your lashes after, the lash curler will remove some of your eyeliner, which is always annoying. So I just like to get this out of the way. I have a friend who's a fellow makeup artist and she also does lash lifts and perms as well as lash extensions. And she's coming to visit next week and she's going to do a lash lift intent on me. So I'm super excited about that. I've had a couple of lash lift intents and I really, really enjoy them. Half the time I won't even use mascara because looks like I have a little bit on and I love not having to curl my eyelashes. But in the meantime, here we are. So I like to use eyeliners as a base for most of my smoky eyes. I think that it adds more depth and it helps with longevity, especially if you're using a long wearing pencil. I'm going to do a slightly different shape today. I kind of want to give myself a little bit of an eye lift. Usually I'm kind of lazy and just follow the shape of my crease and do like a really pretty round smoky eye, which is fine. But today I want a little bit of an eye lift. So I'm going to take this pencil and kind of follow along the bottom of my lash line and almost act like I'm going to do a winged eyeliner. Now I'm gonna go in and just kind of soften and diffuse this pencil. I always know that I want the lash line to look a little bit deeper and have more depth than the rest of my eyes. So that is why I'm focusing this darker color down by the lash. I don't have to really worry about a pretty line because I'm going in with a brush and manipulating this and I'm going to be blending eyeshadow over the top of it. So I'm going to use this eyeshadow palette from NARS. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name of it. I will just put it in the comments because I know I'm going to butcher it. But it's a really beautiful color combination. It's got kind of like a pinky, lavendery, white shade to it. And then this is a really pretty kind of like transparent purple. Both of these have luminosity to them. I'm going to use the same brush that I used to buff out the eyeliner. So having the pencil underneath this shadow really helps the shimmer to adhere. Like I'm actually seeing a bit of sheen that I wouldn't see if this was just sticking to dry skin. You can see that I'm tapping in a lot of my videos. You will hear me talking about tapping to deposit product. So tapping lays the product down, whereas rubbing kind of spreads it out over a larger surface area. So if you're ever trying to build up opacity and you're really trying to get color payoff, then tapping is the first technique that I would use or suggest. So I'm just gonna go in and kind of make the outside of this shape match this side. Okay, so I do want this to be kind of soft and diffused. I don't want it to look like I have a cat eye. So now I'm gonna take a fluffy eyeshadow brush and use the same color, just kind of get the tip of the brush in the product. And I am going to connect the outer corner of my crease to the outer corner of that point. So this kind of takes it from looking like a cat eye to making it look like smoky eyeshadow. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of this pearl color and take it through the center of my eyelid. There's a million different ways that you can use eyeshadows. There's a million different smoky eye techniques and shapes that you can make. There's always gonna be a variety of different makeup styles that you can do for any eye shape. I'm gonna take a little bit of this lighter color as well and dust it underneath my eyebrow, kind of blend out the edges of any darker shadows. And then I'm gonna take the small brush that I started off with and just kind of connect this under my eye a little bit. Something that I learned about smoky eyes a long time ago, that the term smoky eyes means something different to different people. I worked at MAC like a million years ago and I had somebody come in and they said they wanted a smoky eye. So I was like, yeah, let's do like a dramatic black smoky eye. Let's like make you look like you're on the runway. And needless to say, they were like horrified at the end. They were actually really polite about it, but that was the moment that I learned that smoky eyes mean something different to every person. For some people, it just means like a little bit of liner smudged out at the lash line. For other people, it means like a nice diffused brown wash of color wrapped all the way around the eye. And for somebody else, it could be like punk rock, like black dramatic smoky eyes. And especially when you're doing makeup on other people, you have to do it with thorough consultation and investigate and see what somebody wants when they say they want a smoky it's very humbling to constantly be learning lessons. 
So this is called tight lining. It's where you take the liner and you basically squeeze it in between the lashes and it makes your lashes look thicker. This does kind of tickle. If you're not used to doing this, it can be kind of annoying. But my biggest tip is to try to make sure that the pencil's not directly in front of your iris. So like I'm looking this way when I'm doing the outer corner. If I was doing the inner corner, I would move my face this way because this is just annoying. Like if you have a pencil right in front of your iris. The other thing that you can do is you can stabilize your eyelid. No matter what, my eyes always water a little bit when I do this. And I am going to also apply this in the waterline. We'll just make this a true smoky eye. Anything that you're gonna put in the waterline, you do want it to be long wearing. Not all pencils are suited for going in the waterline and some will leak out. So this is a really long wearing pencil. Also being really lazy, I should just sharpen this, but, but here we are with me being lazy. Adding liner to the waterline basically just makes the eyes look more dramatic, but it is by no means a necessary step to doing a smoky eye. You don't even have to apply the product at all underneath your eyes if you don't want to, but if I do apply eyeshadow under my eyes, I always just want it to be really blended. So this is the Sephora Lash Craft Length and Volume Mascara. I think that I always get mascara on my freaking face when I'm doing these videos. For the bottom, I usually just like to use the tip of the mascara wand. And I also don't really care if I get mascara on my skin when I'm doing a smoky eye. I feel like it just kind of adds to the look. Depends on how much mascara I get on the skin, frankly. I might smooth out some of that mascara when I'm done. That might be a little excessive. I'm gonna take a little bit of the concealer that I have on. This is the Il Maquillage Concealer. I'm gonna use this kind of to clean up the shape of my smoky eyes and make sure that they're symmetrical. Usually, if I'm not doing a lot of eye makeup, I'll just use my fingers to, to apply concealer. But because I am really trying to create this blended gradient effect and I have done a lot of eyeshadow, I think using a brush is more effective than using my fingers. So you can see I'm just kind of going around the perimeter. I'm not using a lot of product. You don't want product like this on your brush when you're doing this technique. You want to basically almost have just like a sheer layer pressed into your brush. You don't want there to be excessive amounts of product. Otherwise you're gonna find yourself in a situation that is not fun to get out of. And you're gonna have lots of concealer under your eyes that you don't need and you're gonna be annoyed. Trust me, I've been there. So you can see how this just starts kind of creating a little bit of symmetry. I'll take whatever is left over on my hand, take it through the center of my face. Then I always like to go back through with my crease brush one more time, soften this line. Again, I like really soft, really diffused eyeshadow looks. And I do think I got a little bit too much uh, mascara underneath my eyes, so I let it dry and then I'm using a spoolie. And you can just kind of scrape it off. I think I am going to adjust my eyebrows a little bit. My eyes are more dramatic, so I just wanna make my eyebrows a little bit more dramatic. And I'm just gonna fill in where I think my eyebrows look a little sparse. So I'm looking from a distance in my mirror that's not close up because you see symmetry and density better from a distance. And it's always good to go between looking up close and from far away to make sure that your makeup is blended and looks good up close and far away. It's easy to get kind of like tunnel vision when you're up close. And then for my lip, I'm just gonna touch up. I have um, this NYX eyeliner on, actually. I'm obsessed with this. It's one of their Epic Wear liner sticks in the shade of Dusty Mauve. This is a long wearing eyeliner, but the color is perfect for basically just lining my lips to make them look fuller. It's like a perfect match. And because I have a dramatic eye, I don't really want a dramatic lip. I just want to touch this up. I'm obsessed with this pencil, honestly. I need to like buy a bunch of these in case they discontinue it. I'm just gonna blend that out and then use a little bit of this Locked Kiss ink, which is a really long wearing lip product from MAC. And then I'm gonna finish off by spraying my face with Fix Plus. Kind of helps the makeup settle into the skin and just have more of a lifelike quality. 
So this is it. This is my smoky eye using just two products. And you don't have to use these two products. Really, it's just the technique of using a pencil and layering a shadow over the top of it and making sure that you're blending things out so that they're nice and diffused. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments or if there are any video tutorials that you would like to see, I would love to know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching.